Okay, what I have here is one of the more difficult u substitution problems where you sort of have to make two substitutions. You find your u and your du, but then you have to substitute in for a remaining x value. All right, so first we've got to pick our u. What do we want to substitute for u? You know, maybe you would say, well, let's do this. u equals x plus square root of x plus 4. All of that, all of that square root. Uh, you, that is going to be the wrong choice. You do that, um, you end up with something interesting. You end up with, you kind of have to substitute in twice for the square root of x plus 4, um, which you can't do. So it's going to lead to problems if you do that. You can try it out for yourself and see where you go wrong there. Um, instead, the correct choice is going to be u equals x plus 4. And that sort of makes sense. We often uh, want to substitute in for whatever's under the square root. That often works well. So then our du is du equals well, 1 dx. Easy enough. So let's substitute in. We get, um, it is on the bottom, square to u, because we said u equals x plus 4. And then this is simply du, straight easy substitution. But look at this, we are left still with 2x plus 1. So right off the bat, you're like, well, we've kind of failed. We, we have an x, and we have a u. Like, we have two variables going on. We need it on one variable. So before you give up hope, though, try this. Let's substitute in for what does x equal. What does x equal in terms of u? x equals u minus 4. Just solve for x. Therefore, we make this substitution, and we now have 2 times u minus 4 instead of x plus 1 over. And hey, I'm going to change this to exponent form, because we know at some time we'll want to do that. It's so u to the 1 half. Hey, everything is in terms of u. I can integrate this now. That was neat. That was really cool. Uh, sometimes you do this, and you're still going to end up in a dead end somewhere. But this is a technique you can use it in. Uh, sometimes it'll help us out, and I think it will in this time. So let's work on this. We now have the integral of 2u minus 8 plus 1 over u to the 1 half du. And actually, from here, it's pretty simple stuff. Over u to the 1 half. Okay, but we have this quotient. Well, whenever you can, split up your quotient. So now, oh get that du up there. Uh, let's split it up. So we have 2u over u to the 1 half minus 7 over u to the 1 half du. And then keep on going down. This reduces to 2u to the 1 half minus 7u to the negative 1 half du. And then here we can integrate. So, 2u to the 1 half, that becomes 4 thirds u to the 3 halves, add 1 to my exponent, minus a 14 u to the 1 half, add 1 to the exponent, then you multiply by the reciprocal of it. Um, if you don't see what I did there, uh, maybe pause it here and work it out quickly for you. Oh, and this is bad notation because I integrated this, right? So I should, I already did my integral there. I already did my du. And I have this in, remember, plus c. But we don't want the integral in terms of u. We want it in terms of x. What does u equal? u equals x plus 4. So let me just write this down here for us to see. u equals x plus 4. So my final answer is... 4 thirds x plus 4 to the 3 halves minus 14 x plus 4 to the 1 half plus c. Now you could rewrite um, this other guy there um, as a square root. It might make it look a little neater, but we can leave it like this as our final answer. So there we had to both make our u substitution, 
u equals x plus 4. But then we also had, we were left with, after we were right here, we were left with an x still. So we had to make this substitution. So two substitutions going on. What was the value of x in terms of u? And we end up with this, our final answer.